going on everybody see here welcome uh, back to some more satisfactory so today i had an idea and ideas are dangerous oh ideas are dangerous but i had an idea and i want to try it i want to check it out and if this works this could be the entire design of the factory which means that this area right here is actually going to become the main factory because we need to build the space elevator now i know the thing is oh geez it's really really big uh shoot i wanted to put the elevator down here <laughs> i wanted to put it down here um however that might not be a possibility oh gosh it's just too big floors too steep can't afford overlapping other clearance clipping may occur encroaching others clearance of players in the way encroaching other clearance overlapping clipping maker so okay okay all right hold on here all is not lost because we could remove this and we could recenter our base the reason i want to do this is because like i said this is gonna become the focal point of our base um okay here let's go ahead and let's remove this let's remove this i believe that it's seven by seven i think it's a seven by seven area so can we can we squeeze it into here anywhere although i'm um, okay so just can't afford and overlapping other clipping may exist all right so what i want to do is I want to have this be the focal point because it has a the elevator that goes all the way up to the top, right? So I have a name for the factory, um, but I don't want to. Well, I don't want to say anything yet. I want to get this going. So let's go ahead and let's start off by getting some stuff removed, and let's see if we can't squeeze this in here somewhere. Now I'd like it relatively close to the center, to like this area right here. So let's go ahead and like let's pull a couple of these out and let's see how bad okay so it would totally work right here it would actually work right here no problem so like right here would actually work okay so let's get the stuff let's get the resources for this let's see if we can build it and we're gonna play with it we're gonna make it uh we're gonna make it work so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things this could be the birth of something big something grand uh one two and three you know what let's go ahead and put this on here so i am missing we need plates rods and concrete um i need to go ahead and throw some inventory stuff away okay so we have everything to build it so we're gonna build it i want to build it and i want to see what it looks like um i'm hoping that this works okay okay so that will work i can deal with the yellow and actually if we put it right here of course i also need to be able to access the platform let's put it right there for a second let's kind of see where this pops up at and i want to see i want to see where this where the spire is going to be Ooh, oh the spire okay so it's like kind of way over here but it is actually close to this it's not actually close to that oh it needs to come over like a lot let's see where this uh let's see where this thing pokes down through at it's gonna be right here so it's gonna be in like one of these hmm oh geez oh it's like perfect holy good god <laughs> it's massive oh my gosh it's huge okay holy moly all right i'm gonna see if i can't move it over here okay there we go let's let's give this a try we'll see how well this works uh is it gonna do the whole animation again i think it is Okay, so now it moved over this way a little bit. That is completely okay. 
I think this one might work. Oh my gosh, this thing is just so massive. Okay, so it's actually like it is on point. Oh, there is definitely a invisible box right here. It's on point this way. But I need it to be. Oh, I can't even get through here right now. Okay, so this is going to be an issue. Okay, you know what? I'm going to build down. I'm going to build some walls to go down, to put some to, to line up some things, put some foundations down. We're going to make this work. All right. I think I got it as good as it's going to get. Now, we do have some uh, some boundaries here that we're going to have to, to keep in mind. Okay. So, this is going to be the main focus point of our factory. Obviously. Um, and, you know, in all honesty... Like, it's really, it's actually pretty darn centered. And I think what I'm going to do for over here, because, like, the only reason I was trying to move it over was trying to get it away from this guy, is I think we're just going to ramp the floor up right here. I think we're just going to bring it up one and just build over the top of this thing and just have this little area raised up, you know? And I think that'll work. So, I need to move all this stuff back a little bit. But the reason for this... The reason I was like, you know what? We need to get the space elevator in now while we can and while we have the room for it is so we can build around it because this is going to be, I don't know. I'm still working on the name here, but, but stick with me. I think this is going to be red spire factory <laughs> because it's going to be black and red. And then we have the giant spire sticking out of the top and we're going to build up and around this spire. And that's gonna be like, obviously the central focal point. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's fun. Now, before I do any of this, let's go ahead and let's remove this. Um, I'd like to have this sitting on an actual floor and not just on the ground. So I'm gonna go down there and see if I can't build some floors underneath of it. And we also have to actually make sure that all the ports are accessible and none of them are like clipped underground. All right, so I can access the platform. <laughs> I cannot access the ports. <sighs> oh, can I access the other side? I have to be able to access the port. Wait, hold on. Can I just stick? Uh, these won't go in there, will they? Ooh, this might not work. So, yeah, it doesn't look like this is going to work because I can't access any of these ports to input anything into it oh darn i was hoping if i could just get like a it won't it won't do it no even if i just had one input for the thing can we drag stuff in here or do we have to load it via the belt i think we have to load it via the belt Ooh. Okay, perfect. So I did manage to get it moved a little bit. And we have access to this port right here. So that's going to be the port that we're going to have to run everything through. But it is on a foundation. You know, it's on a foundation, but it's actually kind of like sitting up higher than the foundation. So it's kind of funny. So I guess we can just put this ramp here and then voila. Man, that almost lines up perfectly. I love it. Okay, sweet. So we've got that. We can now focus on building around our spire. So in for, or for us to have enough room around here, I want to make sure that we're not. Okay, so right here, we're good. But then we hit a thing here. Okay. So I want to go ahead and remove the foundations that we can't walk on. So this one is pretty much a bust. And I just want to make sure that we have room all the way around it to like actually get around. I mean, we could put glass in here and have it clip and all that fun stuff, but I'd rather not. So that right there is going to be our center and it's roughly, it's roughly three by three. It's almost centered. It's a hair off, but you know what? I'm happy with it because of how it lines up down there. So it lines up down there good, but I need to remove some of this stuff. 
And I guess we could remove this and probably be able to squeeze through these and put some walls on this. So that's not the end of the world. And then we need to scoot all of these back in order to get this all cleaned up and looking good. All right. So I, I, I got it cleaned up. <laughs> well, kind of. I kind of destroyed like everything we did in the last episode, but that's fine. It's fine. I wanted to make sure I had a nice, good, uh, open center area. So as you can see, we have a three wide road. We have uh, four foundations to each like entrance area. That should work. This is not belonging there. This belongs here, right? One, two, three. Fantastic. So this gives us a big center open area to play with, with our giant spire right here. So this is like the, um, this is like the no, no area. Like we don't, we won't build anything in here. Probably, uh, we might do, we might do some like little things in like the corners, you know, maybe decorative stuff or like just small stuff. But the main factory is going to be on pretty much the pillars of these or like, you know, higher up levels. And then we'll enclose in as we get closer um to the top so uh, this is our new area to build with and I, I think i like this so much better already like this actually looks like something kind of cool um i did finish this so we do have a ramp on this side but i'm okay with it because it actually looks kind of cool uh we'll have like you know a factory in here but there's our uh there's our deal right there and this actually gives us a little bit of we could we could import stuff here or export like you know through underneath the floors so that's gonna be kind of cool and actually i was thinking about building a subfloor under here anyways to run things back and forth eventually um i really need to get some doors though like i really like to get some doors and like a different walls but you know it is what it is and then this just basically runs all the way out here and down into the desert so if we need to have some trucks for some stuff we can uh this should give us room we could even possibly put a truck station in here and have enough room to have trucks going around here so um, i wanted to leave a little bit of space just in case we were you know in case we need to do anything so now we basically have we actually by putting these walls in like that i basically created all of the areas that i kind of need so uh concrete stuff here we can always you know build up and then over here, we could possibly put all of our burners. And uh, that's just a uh, random storage deal because I had too much stuff when I was disassembling everything. Uh, we could put our biomass burners in here or and our biofuel conversion, like creators stuff in here as well. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to work on getting this back to kind of where we were and hope for the best. Now, one thing that we do need is we need the hub. So I'm thinking that the hub could probably go in here. Can't afford it. It's because I have my hub parts probably in here. There they are. Okay, so the hub, we could probably squeak this in the corner over here. Actually, why don't we do this? Why don't we put it in this corner? We'll put our biomass burners there and then the fuel will be right next to it. So basically I need to, <laughs> oh, I need to make another temporary storage container. You know what? I'm going to put it like right here. I can't afford. I'm going to put it right here because I'm not going to build anything right here. So there's our hub. Looks good. And then we're going to hook up the biomass burners. You know, honestly, I don't think I'm going to use these biomass burners. I don't even think I'm going to use those two. I think I'm just going to leave them alone. So we can have that there. And then can we fit the workshop right in here? No, but we could put it like this right there. Even though there's a door on this side, which I don't know why I would need it. But we have that there. So that actually, you know what? It'd look better right there. Yeah, looks so much better right here. Okay, so then there's that. Awesome. Okay. Now it's time to fix my factory. All right, so I got some things kind of organized up here. I think I got everything hooked up and ready to go for the most part. So uh, we've got our concrete over here powered up. We got power lines on all the corners. That looks pretty good. Um, the... Uh, Biofuel conversion center is now over here next to these, which I think we're just gonna be running off of these guys. 
Uh, and then these are all connected to here. This is our main power grid right here. So this is going to be our main power room. I guess we could actually probably go ahead and maybe throw another one of those like that for now. You know, nothing, nothing super crazy. These are all connected up. And let me make sure that this is all still good. Um, oh, man, I really need doors here. Okay, so all these are still good. I think we're just waiting for power. Hold on, let's just get this wall right in here. Perfect. Okay. There we have it. Now, we need to do the iron. So, we're going to upgrade the iron a little bit. Now, we can only do uh we can only do the two iron lines, which is fine. So, we have two smelters going and one smelter per per deal essentially. And then we have this smelter right here. <laughs> this one's not powered. <laughs> it's just sticking out of the floor. But you know what? I'm okay with it because it's behind a wall. So, um, actually, you know what? Let's leave that there. And let's start checking out um, how we're going to have our constructors here. So, I want to build in a way that we... Oh, I don't have, like, anything. I need, found, I need, I need concrete and I need plates. All right, so I got some concrete plates. Um, also, people were commenting that I'm doing this wrong, that I should be able to hit uh, R. Vertical. Zoop. So. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of amazing. <gasps> oh, my life has been changed forever. <laughs> oh, why when was this added this is the best thing ever holy moly and zoop that's why it's called zooping isn't it <laughs> and zoop oh my gosh i'll never do that stuff again okay so uh enough with that we need to get some machines going so Let's get, uh, we can get some constructors in here and then we're going to need plates, rods, and screws going. So let's go ahead and let, we're just going to get a basic, uh, basic couple lines going. Nothing super crazy right now because, well, nothing super crazy. So we're going to do one, um, two, I don't have enough stuff for this. We're going to do a few of these machines get, so that way we can get kind of a little bit of everything going. Uh, we got to get some upgrades and stuff like that. You know, we need screws. We need plates. We need rods. We need all that fun stuff. And uh, gosh, we have a lot of things to automate still. Okay. So we have the two. Um, and like I said, we're just going to kind of place everything. Oh, what in the absolute heck is going on here? We're going to kind of place everything. Uh, I don't like either of these. These are both like not right. So we're going to do plates, rods, and then screws. Now, these are all going to have eventually, like, different rooms, you know, different, like, sections, like, making plates, making rods, all that stuff. But for now, we can make it, uh, we can make it work because, like, we're not to that point yet. Hold on. This needs to be plates. We're going to do double plates, single rods, and then rods, and then screws. Okay. So, 10 rods per minute, 40 screws per minute. Uh, 15 rods per minute. Okay, so if we do two of these machines, we could run three of these. You know what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's good. We'll just stick with that. I'm fine. Uh, it's not going to be running quite as fast as it could be, but I am completely okay with that. Now, uh, plates, screws, and rods. Let's go ahead and just get a nice little section right here, maybe for some cargo containers do we even call them cargo containers so we'll do one two and three and then that'll give us our plates rods and screws nice so there's our plates hooked up nothing crazy and then we're going to go ahead and get our, let's see if I do that. And then this one like that. And then screws are going to go here. Like that. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So let's just go ahead and line up with that one. Boom. 
Boom. Uh, this one is probably... Oh my gosh. Nope. It's not going to be perfect. That's fine. I don't even care. <laughs> It'll work. Because like I said, we're going to eventually have rooms probably dedicated for each one of these anyways. Now we can go ahead and get that guy back. And then we just got to get these powered up and connected to our rods line. And then we have to throw power on and hope that everything is still good. So fun challenge is that the box on this will not allow me to place my splitters anywhere closer to it. So we have to have these with belts like this, but that's kind of okay because it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> it actually looks kind of good. Uh, those aren't going to be straight. That's fine. Not worried about it. And then I think that's it. So let's go ahead and let's get some power in here. Uh, power pole. Now we've got this power pole right there and we got that power pole right there. And we basically need one power pole for two machines. Because then we can have a connection going in and a connection going out. So I think everything is good. Oh my gosh, the zooping thing. Like, what the heck? That is amazing. <laughs> I've been missing out my entire life. Okay. I like this. You know, what do those half walls look like? I put, like, up top. Oh, I was hoping that maybe... Huh... Do I like that? I like that. I actually, I think that'll work. Let's do that. That gives it a little bit more of a finished look. Kind of. The only problem is now it's not the same height as everything else around it. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait and see. But let's get some power on here and let's see if everything will get fired up, running, rocking, and rolling, so then we can get some materials going. Um, let's see. Sort. Let's go and grab another one of these guys. Since we have four burners over here, I think we should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're way good. Way good. Not even remotely an issue. Okay. Now, um, I do believe that I had this set for leaves. I think I had this one set for wood and so on and so forth. So let me get this crate cleaned out and out of here. Okay, where did I get this crate full of iron ingots? Did I have a buffer before that was me? Oh, you know what? I had a storage container that was just making iron ingots. Uh, We can go ahead and throw all of those. We'll throw some of them in here. And then we'll throw the rest of them in here. And then those can go out and do their things, do the stuff. Okay. Looking good. I think we got everything clean. Well, minus this storage right here. Darn it. I feel like we're going to need one storage unit to like randomly dump off stuff to. Um, actually, the biofuel, we can go throw that in the container. Okay. Everything's cleaned up. I think everything's working. It's looking good. Um, I'm going to leave this wall here for now. I don't think it's going to stay, but once we get some more decorative parts, then it will uh, it'll look a little bit better. But we've got concrete. Why do we not have iron? You know why? Because the drill's not hooked up, is it? Nope. Wait a second. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. I thought I was dead for sure. Um, Let's just connect to that one. That one's not connected to anything either. Okay. Okay, so now both drills are going. <laughs> I guess I should go check on the copper too. All right, so the copper looks good. Um, should we go ahead and let, you know what? Let's do some zooping. Oh, I need plates. Let's go ahead and do, uh, do some zooping here. Boop. <laughs> I love the zooping. It's so cool. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just zoop a wall all the way down. I want to get these walls like all the way down. So we have a really good layout and we have like, oh my gosh, there's so much room in here for activities. However, um, I have a feeling we'll we'll probably get it filled up, no problemo. All right, there we have it. All the walls are in. Everything's looking good. We've got our central spire here. Um, so this is this is our this is factory red spire, red spire factory. 
We've got it. We're here. We're doing the things. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this already. Now, I don't know if we're going to do double high wind walls. If we do, I'd like to do windows. Um, I want it to continue. I want it to feel open and like vast, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I want it to kind of like feel open. Maybe we could do windows um, up top here. Maybe we get some of those new fancy uh, railings that go on these on these ledges right here. That'd be kind of cool or like at least being able to see into here. I think that's going to be really neat. And then once we expand out lines over here, um, but yeah, we've got things going. So now our next objective really, I think is to maybe venture out and see what nodes we have nearby that we can exploit and then crank up production on everything, get the space needle, spire satellite space elevator get those requests filled get more things unlocked but i gotta say i'm really really enjoying this layout now i i feel i feel so much better last episode i felt good to get this down but i was like eh, you know what i don't see this as a long-term thing this i can see as a long-term thing and i'm excited because we're gonna build up we're going a vertical baby so i'm really excited I'm excited to get drones in here like some drones like on the rooftops you know like sure doing their thing and then of course a grand train station oh my gosh a grand train station it's gonna be so good i cannot wait to build that i'm like super excited about that but that is actually gonna end this one uh might be a little shorter but unfortunately that's kind of all the time i have for today i kind of it, it took a little bit longer to do this stuff um the zooping that would have saved me a lot of time <laughs> so thank you so much comments um i do appreciate that because I was like, what is this zooping? Like, I thought it I thought it was some mod. I thought it was like a mod. Was like, oh, you can use a mod and do this. It's like, I don't want to use a mod. But no, it's a thing. I love it. It's fantastic. But thank you again. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.